Hello YouTube, I am APC. Today we're going to be making a basic game with Gmail code. This is the second half of the short series I'm doing about the basics of code. In the first half we went over the theory and today we're going to apply that theory. So this is um, Gmail code for GameMaker. If you have no idea what GameMaker is, I suggest you follow my Catch the Console tutorial where I go over all the basics of GameMaker so you can be prepared to use Gmail. In order to avoid the tutorial being too long, I've already made the sprites. So there's five sprites. The human, enemy, one and two, solid, and a token. The human just make a circle with a line going through it and make use transform rotate in order to make it go in four different angles. For enemy one, make a circle with a line going through it vertically to indicate that its movement is vertically. And for the enemy two, make it go the line go horizontal. The solid, just simple black square. Okay. These were I made these all 32 by 32. Your token needs to be 16 by 16, but in the middle of a 32 by 32 square. So the best way to do that is to have it originally on a 16 by 16 square, and then re hit transform resize to make it 32 by 32. Also about the sprites. Make sure for all of them to put modify ma masks, mask and click full image. This will avoid some glitches later on. Those are all your sprites. As you can tell, this is going to have a lot of parts very similar to the catch count tutorial, only with code. Let's get started on objects. First object is going to be obj player. As I said in the theory, the creation event is used to set the original settings for the sprite. That holds true here. Since the human has four sub images and we want to change depending on which way it's moving, we don't want to go through it. So set image speed to zero. Image speed, as you can already tell, is the speed that's running through sub images. So if it's at zero, it will not move through it at all. Next one, sprite index equals SPR player. This line of code is the same as changing the sprite over here except it's in code. I would normally change the sprite over there, but since the whole point of this tutorial is everything in code, I'm just putting it in code. There's going to be a score in this game. So it's not necessarily important that the score is defined here, but it needs to be defined somewhere, so it might as well be here. So type down score equals zero. As you can guess, score, the score variable is score. Now let's go to step event. And here we can put our basic movement for the player. I use this code a ton, so it's very useful. Okay. Type down if keyboard check bk up and, and and place free x y minus eight image index equals zero and y minus equals eight. Let me go through this. Key keyboard check, so it's checking whether the keyboard button up is being is pressed at that moment, and this is indicating that the place free also needs to be checked. It's checking whether um the point with the same x value but eight less y value, so eight eight dots up from this current object whether that place is free and then if these parameters are met then image index equals zero so the sub image is zero in this case our zero sub images is the up one so that works and y minus equals eight or go up eight okay so what you want what I want you to do now is press control C and copy that s until you have four of them okay so I'll just do it in the order that I put down the subjects to make it easier. After up, I put down right, then down, then left. So for right, that's x plus 8. For down, that's y plus 8. And for left, that's x minus 8. So the image index are 1, 2, and 
3, x plus. This is y plus, and this is x minus. This should work. If you have your um, subject set up a little differently, there's probably going to be a glitch here somewhere. So what's important is to test games out. But before we test it out, we make a solid object, since that's one of the things that needs to be tested on, how um, the human goes with colliding with stuff like that. That's what the place, place free is for. In the creation event for the solid, there's two things we need to set. First, solid equals true. It's the same as checking in that box, but code. But this is how you say it in code. And sprite index equals spr solid. Now let's make a room so we can s properly test this out. I'm going to set up the room as I want to have it in the end. So it's going to be sped up. If you want to make the same way, just follow along. To finish making your room, press the green triangle to test it out. First, let's check whether um, it moves in the right direction in accordance with the keyboard, and also whether it changed the right sprite according to direction, and it, stop mo it stops moving when it hits the solids. Okay, perfect. If that doesn't work for you, make sure you did the code right. Now we're going to make our enemy sprites. So let's create an object called obj enemy1. Remember, our enemy one was our vertical movement one. In the creation event, let's set our settings. So first, let's set the sprite. Sprite index equals SPR enemy one. Also, we want it to move either up or down. So type down V speed. V speed is the vertical speed. Choose six or negative six. This will make um, the V speed become either 6 or negative 6. That's all for the creation event. Now, in the collision event with the solid, we want it to change flip direction. So if it's going up, we want it to go down. If we want it to go down, we want it to go up. Is the code V speed equals negative V speed. So let's say V speed is negative 6, so it's going up. It hits one of those things. So we, so we want the V speed, the new V speed, to become negative of the old v-speed, so it's negative, negative 6, so it'll change directions. And when it collides with the player, we want the game to restart. So type down game restart, since the function needs the two brackets. Okay. 